welcome to the first episode of our Ask Glaston flat tempering series. In this episode, we'll be discussing a phenomenon called white haze, which actually has been one of the most asked issues in Glastory so far. Uh, and sometimes trying to find white haze in glasses seems like a bit like trying to find a ghost. So now I got here Antti Aronen from our R&D team to tell us a bit more about what white haze actually is. Thank you, Riku, for this question. So the white haze marks can be dust, roides residuals, or actual mechanical deformations caused by a mechanical pressure that is too strong between glass and the rollers. White haze can be caused by multiple reasons and can occur in several different forms. Perhaps the most common type of white haze is a long stripe in the center of the glass. White haze can occur also near the ends, on the corners of the glass, or all over the glass with vacuum hazy areas or repeated stripes or marks. There are many types of uh, white haze that can occur and also several ways to decrease the probability for white haze. These white hazes have been so far difficult to judge if they are severe or mild and depended on the observer. But now we have equipment that helps to make the judging automatically. So, as Antti was discussing, detecting white haze has been a difficult issue in the glass industry already for a long time. Uh, our approach to this was that we need a better way uh, to discuss white haze within the industry and to reliably detect white haze all the time, uh, taking the subjective part uh, out of the equation completely. Uh, so the first step in order to achieve this was to develop a system that can reliably produce an image of white haze from every glass and every loading produced on a tempering line. And this development uh, was done together with our partner Soft Solution. Uh, who designed a scanner uh, to provide the uh, good quality image of white haze every single time. This unique line scanner works in a so-called reflection mode using specific developed lightning technology to get high quality, high resolution images of the phenomena white haze. Uh, we have an example here. Let me show you some insights about our equipment. This line scanner, as all of our products, can simply be installed, as you can see here, in a horizontal setup or vertically. And nearly all positions within the production are possible. Very flexible, small footprint, as you can see, and really easy to install. The core, the heart of the scanner, are the image acquiring sensors together with a specific developed light source, which you can see here. This is a unique setup, making sure that it provides a constant and high resolution image acquiring along the entire width of the scanner. By using this technology, white haze even if it is really low, becomes visible and images are then forwarded to software, which does analy analyze them. And after this step uh, was achieved, uh, the next question uh, is then that, how do we detect white haze? And how do we grade that into di uh, different grades? The system uses state-of-the-art neural network uh, to detect white haze in glasses. And, and the bigger question is, of course, then that how do we grade hazing glasses? And for that, we invited our customers to work together with us to move towards a glass industry standard for white haze. And the result is that the system is able to detect hazes in three different categories, mild, medium and strong. Uh, and the categorization is based on the common understanding of the customers who have been working uh, together with us on this project. And this is just the beginning. So everybody who wants to be part of contributing uh, to the industry standard development 
is more than welcome to give their input uh, into the development and actually affect in which direction the scanner and detection is developing in the future. In the white haze scanner, you can always see uh, the images of all the scanned glasses within the loading. And on the glasses, uh, the scanner will actually visualize where the detected haze is located, as well as what is the category of the detected haze. The system also allows uh, each glass processor to define their own quality categories for white haze. So the user is able to define uh, which categories of white hazes are acceptable, as well as what is the acceptable size of white haze. Uh, and the white haze can be also categorized based on its location, whether it's located in the middle or in the edge areas. So essentially, each processor is able to modify the usage of the scanner for their own uh, factory usage and needs. The scanner is also directly integrated into the Glaston flat tempering line control system. And this means that all the quality targets as well as uh, needed glass information is automatically transferred to the white haze scanner by the tempering furnace. So this is now a huge change uh, as in how the glass industry sees white haze. Uh, as we are transferring white haze from a completely subjective phenomenon to a phenomenon that can be objectively graded for all the glasses and loadings in your factory. And the next question, of course, after you're able to detect haze, is that how can you develop it? And how can you correct possible issues? And for this, uh, go to clustery.net, where we have some great articles discussing what can be done in the tempering process uh, to make white haze less visible in, in the end product. In the next episode, we'll be discussing about automatic stress calculation and, and how we can automatically calculate the formed stresses in all of the glasses that are produced in a tempering line.